he's going to he's do it. He's got it. Matthew Castanier is going to get the stroke. It's a massive, massive win for Matthew Castanier. A completely exhausted Omar Mossad, but this Frenchman has never won anything close to this size. He is on cloud nine here in London. Terrific tournament for the French warrior. So, 83 minutes in this final here in the Canary Wharf Classic. And it's Castanier that overcomes Omar Mossad. 6 11, 11 7, 11 8, 11 5, three games to one. I had like between 15 and 20 injuries. Uh, I tore my calf, my both calf, 10, 15 times without any explanation. I've seen a lot of specialists like physios, doctors, acupuncture, a lot of person, a lot of people, and they couldn't help me anymore. One day I met a person uh, who were working with insurance agency, and, the, um, and he, he showed me a contract of one athlete uh, he met because he's working for insurance, so he's working for the club, club insurance, athlete insurance, and blah, blah, blah. And he said, Matt, uh, that person seen the contract, but he do not allow, in the contract, he do not allow to wear braces during the term of the contract. I say, why? Because I wore braces in 2016, not for the aesthetic things, but just because I had pain, teeth pain, and blah, 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 so I just tried to, to fix it. So I wear braces for six months and then a retainers every night for another year. And he say, yeah, because the braces and the retainers make so much impact to the back, to the muscles, to the structure, the body structure. You change, you change the balance, you change a lot of things. And uh, so I starting to think about it, I starting to talk about it with the doctors I met and that was the only option I had because all the other options wasn't right so weren't right so so I stopped my braces a year ago I stopped the retainers during the night a year ago as well and I started to feel better after two months because my, my teeth moves moved back a bit my teeth are not straight straight anymore and I started to see the difference, uh, especially when, like, when I used to walk up, I couldn't even take the stairs in my home place. I was scared to, do, like, to have injuries just for walking stairs. That was, I was terrible. I was, like, I was paralyzed. I couldn't even like, run at the airport to catch my flight if I was late. And uh, I, could, I, I could feel something wrong happen. You know, I could feel like it was dangerous for me to do sprints or to do like to play. I mean, to play like an, a, a, one game in squash. I remember funny stories. I prepared my, my dance, my first dance for my wedding with my wife. And we did like few steps to prepare the first dance. And in 15 minutes, 15 minutes, I tore my calf. And it took me three weeks to recover from that. And I, I I've been a player who used to run a lot on the courts, had some tough battle, play like more than like an hour or even, even two hours, and I couldn't even dance for 15 minutes. So that was, that was terrible. And I thought, I, I, I thought that the problem came from the braces and the retainers. And since I stopped it, I'm all right. When I've seen my physio, you have two ligaments on the moon, and when you put the, when you put the pressure on the ligament, that was painful. That was painful. When you had the braces? Yeah. That means everything behind, back, hamstring, calf, everything, all the structures are in trouble. So if you train, uh, if you train hard, if you do a lot of things on the side, of course your body will be impacted. So, I felt a huge difference. I can't really tell you how, but I, I feel a huge difference. I should have done it when I was 13, 14 years old, not at 28, 29, when I was at the top of the ranking. That was like a terrible mistake.
terror. And that is funny because I don't know if I can talk about that, but I had a discussion with uh, Cesar Salazar because he's wearing braces. And um, for, for me, it's a good example because I can see him uh, from, uh, from the beginning start wearing bracings and uh, I can see him struggling a bit with injuries. So we had a discussion in Chicago and, uh, and that was like um, maybe the reason why he's starting to be in trouble with injuries as well. Mm. For me, it's step by step. I stop the processes of injuries first and then if I can be consistent, if I can beat some top players, I will try to put goals, try to be back first top 20 if I can. And then, of course, if I'm top 20, I will try to be back to top 15 and try to, to get the highest ranking I can. But uh, I don't want to say I'm going to be back top 10 uh, in six months now. I, I don't want to be arrogant. I don't want to be confident. I just want to. I'm j just enjoying playing squash now. Uh, I'm enjoying uh, like uh, moving on the courts. Uh, we play 100 minutes against Sorab in Chicago. So that was really tough. And I've been on court against Gawan and I was fine. So that is the most important thing for me. Enjoying playing and show like we always can find a solution of our problem. Except if it's really bad. Like if for example you, you had a fatigue fracture like Gauthier did. And uh, so I think it's just a question of experience and learn how the body works and see different specialists and learn from them different things. So of course I can get, get injured again because we train really hard, we play a lot of events, we're traveling often, but I'm not injured like I used to be, so that is great.